Welcome back. In the last video, I showed you how to import a soil map overlay into Google Earth Pro. Now we're going to import these images into SketchUp to create accurately scaled maps for farm and landscape planning. Now, you used to be able to do this in the free versions of SketchUp by coming up to File, clicking Geolocation, and saying Add Location. And this would pull up the aerial imagery from Google. Their agreement with Trimble has since expired, and so that is only uh, available in the Pro version. You can see we just have roadmaps here, which is less useful for, for our purposes. I've come up with a bit of a workaround, and it's not perfect. There are probably better ways to do it, but here's what I do. Let's go back to Google Earth, and before we actually export this imagery, I'd like to create an anchor. I'm going to come up to this thumbtack-looking button. It's a new place mark, and um, if I have two fields that I, I want to use, I'm going to try to put this in a, in a place in between that's sort of out of the way. And this is going to allow me to stitch these photos together. Uh, for my purposes, I actually want to mark this. This is a waterer here, so I'm, I'm going to mark that. You can use something else if you, if you want to mark another thing. Click OK. I'm going to rename this as waterer. Hit Enter. OK, great. Now I want to center uh, you know, on the field so I've got what I want in the frame. Make sure you've got your anchor point. And I'm going to come up here to the Save Image button. I'm going to make sure that the resolution is at set at maximum and then go to map options and unclick everything except the scale bar. Now this everything shrunk down when I increased the resolution so I'm going to increase that back up and uh, I want this to hit 200 here and hit, hit save and then this is just the the Google Earth settings we don't really need that file. What we want to do is hit save image I'm going to call this uh, nutshell one and, um, and then I'm just going to drag to my second image that I want here, making sure that my icon is still in the frame. Hit Save Image. I'll call this Nutshell 2. And then I'm going to go back to SketchUp. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new layer. And I'm going to call this layer uh, Base Map. And then I want to make sure that I'm editing a click here so that when I import these, they'll be imported to this base map. Come up here to the file button, click import, find your first photo. And then you're going to have to click once to anchor a corner. You want to make sure this is um, not flipped over like this. You just drag it up and click again. We'll rescale it in a minute. Now, um, you're going to want to double click on this, um, or right click on this, sorry, and say explode. Right click again and say make group. And then this is going to allow us to um, just, just edit this particular photo. If you, don't, if you don't do this, later on when you scale multiple photos, things get really messy. I'm going to click this tape measure tool and then come into this corner on the scale bar. And I'm not sure if it's better to use the edge or the middle or whatever, but I'm going to click somewhere around here. You can see I've got 200 feet for my scale bar. I'm going to drag it across, click again, and then just type 200 and the apostrophe kind of to 200 feet. Hit enter. It's going to ask if I want to resize. I say yes. And now we should have a scale image. Uh, I can double check here to make sure it's just kind of close. Sure enough, it's just about 200 feet. Great. Now I'm going to import my second one. Nutshells 2. And just do a similar thing. I don't want to stick it right on top here. Um, well, I, I actually want to explode this again. Sorry. <clears throat> um, I should have unclicked because that made that part of this group. Um, so I'm going to explode this. I'm going to make it its own group and then edit that. I'm going to double click so that it's. I, I'm sure that I'm not editing this other one. And again, if you, if you try to do that and the other one is selected, it's going to rescale the one we just did and make it incorrect. So we're just going to do the same thing. Drag it here. We've got the same scale of 200 feet. Type in 200 feet. Hit, hit yes. And now we've got our two images <clears throat> that should be scaled correctly. Now to stitch these together, I'm, I'm just going to zoom in on our icon here. I'm going to click the Move tool and then pick a point that's pretty recognizable. And I like to drop these at the um, at the origin because it kind of snaps to it. So 
going to do that. Click this one and just do the same thing. Oh, it's not. Um, I think I exploded it. So let's make it a group again. Zoom into my anchor point. Try to pick the same spot. Drop this at the origin. Great. Now we have our two photos that are pretty well matched up. Um, we've got these lines here, though. So um, what I can do is actually explode these again so that I can edit them. And, um, and then I'm going to click on this line. You can see there's this Google Earth in the lower left-hand corner of this photograph. I don't really want that in the middle of my field. I would rather have the top of this one. So I'm going to erase this line. I can erase this guy too. But what happens if I click this one, this line, is that, um, it's being fiddly. If I erase that, then things get all wonky. So I'm not going to do that. I'm actually just going to click, click it. And um, if, I can, if I can get the line here, right click and say hide. And that's a workaround so that we don't have to see that line. And now we've got these two photographs that are pretty darn well stitched together. I'm going to select them all and make them a group again. And, uh, and that's our aerial imagery. Great. So now that we've got our two images stitched together, I just wanted to show you real quick. I've imported a larger photo. Um, you may be thinking, well, why didn't he just take a picture of the whole farm instead of stitching this together? And I'm going to show you here um, the difference in, in detail. So as I toggle between these, look at the barn. You can see that the detail is, is pretty significantly different. Um, at the scale you're working at, a larger photograph may be fine, but that's why I choose to take the time to stitch these two together. Great. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks.